Lifestyle on Wheels is brought to you by The views and opinions expressed by the host and the guests do not necessarily reflect the show or the network. For your comments and suggestions, you may email us at motorcyclingnewsmagazine at gmail.com. Good afternoon to our viewers. My name is Tyran and welcome to Lifestyle on Wheels. episodes we have our news and events the Ducati Monster Day we also have the 10th year anniversary of the Soul Riders we have the Honda Scooter Fest and the unveiling of the Honda Click 150i for our motorcycle news segment we have the Suzuki Raiders Summit 2017 Supremacy and of course for our car side we have the fourth preseason drivers briefing we also have driven to ride hosted by Joey Storm Rivero. And for our motorism segment, we have the Laia Day 2, of course, brought to you by Ride Along Motorcycle Tours Philippines. So, tell the viewers, just stick around and enjoy the show. For our news and events, we have the Ducati Monster Day. Alam nyo ba, ginanap ito sa Promenade Green Hills, kung saan nagtipon tipon ang lahat ng Ducatista here and around Metro and ito ay sinamahan ni Mayor Richard Gomez at alam nyo ba nag motorcade muna sila at nagkaroon pa ng mga programa para lang sa mga Ducatista meron nga silang tinatawag doon na oldest monster meron ring Ducati na highest mileage meron ring lady biker at meron ring best monster selfie and of course maraming maraming salamat po kay Madam Joy and Sir Toti Alberto for inviting Lifestyle on Wheels dyan po sa event nyo. At maraming maraming salamat, Mr. Oliver Navarro, iba ka talaga, maasahan ka. Ngayon naman, punta naman natin itong kakaibang event. Sabi nga nila, this is the night of friendship, ang 10th year anniversary ng Soul Riders. Alam nyo ba, ang Soul Riders ay ito yung mga group of Koreans who enjoy the passion of motorcycle riding and most of them are using cruiser bikes kaya naman talagang takab na takab ako nung nagpunta ako doon at namit ko pa personally ang kanilang mga officers alam nyo meron silang giveaways box of noodles meron rin silang mga power banks giveaway t-shirts lahat na yata nandun merong drinks pagkain ang the best na nakita ko doon is the camaraderie between the brotherhood of MCs. Alam nyo naman sa mundo ng mga MCs eh, merong red and white, black and white, gold, white, kung ano-ano pa yung mga colors na yan, eh talagang nagsama-sama sila dito para sa event ng Soul Riders. And of course, I would like to thank personally the red and white family, especially the Ronin Brotherhood MC, Mr. Marvin Zamora, for inviting me in the said event. So ngayon naman, puntahan naman natin ang Honda School Fest at ipapakita namin sa inyo ang pinakabago pinaka-advanced na scooter dito sa Pilipinas ang Honda Click 150i so watch this Honda Philippines Incorporated launches the all new Click 150i 2017 marks the second year that Honda Philippines Incorporated has been holding the Honda Scooter Fest these series of activities give riders the opportunity to experience the excellence and innovation of Honda, which in turn amplifies the joy of riding. The festivities started with the Honda Gen S Motorcade and Spot My Ride Honda Scooter Accessorizing Contest and top off with the launch of the ultimate Gen S Scooter, the all-new Honda Click 150i.
This is Honda's flagship scooter that has the highest displacement among the existing Genius scooter models. The all-new Honda Click 150i is the biggest addition to the scooter lineup of Honda from 110cc to 125cc and now a trailblazing 150cc displacement. With outstanding features and a powerful liquid-cooled 150cc single overhead cam engine, it features stylish and exclusive design with premium matte finish and distinctive sporty stripes. The all-new Click 150i also features an advanced answer back system that allows the rider to find this scooter with ease. By simply pressing the button of the key remote, the scooter will respond in either one of three different tones and blink with a light signal. Ultimately, the crowning glory of the all-new Honda Click 150i is its overhaul build that exhibits sophisticated design and features and gives the rider confidence to conquer the road. The launch was hosted by Miss Gretchen Hall, with the evening highlighted by custom bike contests, rock bands like Imago, Sponge Cola, and The Dawn. The evening won't be complete without a raffle off the new Honda Click 150i. HBI President Mr. Daiki Mihara is optimistic about the introduction of the all-new Honda Click 150i to the young generation of riders, citing HBI's passion for excellence and solid commitment to share the joy of riding to all Genesis riders. Inspired by creativity, style, and innovation, we at Honda are embracing the evolution that moves us forward to the future. The Gen S riders are always at the helm of all things new. We share their interest and thirst for ingenuity that shapes our world today and tomorrow. The all-new Honda Click 150i. It is now available in all Honda 3S shops nationwide with an SRP of 89,900 pesos. For more details, visit www.hondaph.com today or visit a Honda dealer near you. Wow! That's the Honda Click 150. Kita nyo naman. Talaga naman nag-enjoy ang ating mga Cicloista friends dyan. Na si Miss Donna at si Sir Joel. Kita kita nyo naman ha. Unveiling pa lang. Pasabog pa lang ng Honda Diyan sa Blue Bay Makapagal Eh ibang iba na May mga banda May mga boots May motorcade So saan ka pa? Iba talaga to si Honda And of course Yung kanilang motor Na Honda Click 150i It's a 52 km per liter Sipin nyo kung gano'ng katipid Yung matatakbo nyo dito So ganyan po Kaganda Ang technology ni Honda It has a very affordable price Of 89,000 900 pesos So, ano pang hinihintay nyo mga televiewers? Pumunta na kayo sa pinakamalapit na Honda Garage Diyan sa inyong lugar And now, for a motorcycle new segment We have the Suzuki Raider R150 Summit 2017 So mga televiewers, let's watch this
mga sigliwisa, ngayon kasama ko naman ang Club Raider on 150 from Lipa. So magandang umaga sa inyo. Ano po ba ang pinunta natin dito sa World Trade? Ang ating bagong labas na Rider FI, sana ilabas na at talagang sabik na sabik na kami! Yun! Since ngayon ay uh, nandito kayo ngayon sa Rider Summit, di ba? Ano naman ang nararamdaman nyo at nakarating kayo dito? Napakasaya! So ano masasabi nyo sa mga Suzuki Club Rider dyan? Uh, sa mga masasabi sa lahat ng club na nandito ay ride safe sa lahat. At sana maging gawin natin masaya itong Rider Summit na to, 2017. of commitment ng Suzuki na namangako ng walang sawang pagsuporta sa inyong lahat. We'd like to invite on stage the Suzuki executives headed by Mr. Hiroshi Suzuki. Here we go. Three, two, one. So I can see there are a lot of people here. Uh, by the way, it's a pretty exciting event, so going great. Now coming to the records part, we've done our calculations. And I'm very happy to say that you have created a new Guinness World Records title. Congratulations! Wow! Simply amazing! Yan ang masasabi ko sa Suzuki Philippines. Isipin nyo, hindi lang to basta summit or get-togethers na manaka Raider 150. Nagtalaga rin sila ng pinakabagong Guinness Book of Records na for the largest road safety seminar. Isipin nyo, 4,100 plus ang lumahok po dito. Pero in gate attendance, ba, isipin nyo, naka 6,000 lang naman na Suzuki owners ang pumunta dyan sa may World Trade Center. So on behalf of Life Thailand Wheels, congratulations to Suzuki Philippines and congratulations to the Suzuki President, Mr. Hiroshi Suzuki. And now for our car side segment, tingnan man natin ang Flat Out Racing Series o ang Force Pre-Season Driver's Briefing. Eh, ito lang naman ay ginanap last Saturday kung saan tinawag nila lahat ng participants ng kasali dito. 
and nilayout nila ang lahat ng rules and regulation para sa incoming 2017 races. Eh alam nyo ba, napakaganda nitong force na to. Kaya kung ako sa inyo, mga car siders dyan, eh aabangan ko sa March 15 ang kanilang Flat Out Racing Series. Ngayon naman, matutunghayan natin ang Driven to Ride ni Mr. Joey Storm. Kaya Joey, take it away! Guys, check out my ride for this weekend. Yep, it's the BMW F700. Tamang-tama pang long ride. I've been to a lot of places around the country kung saan-saan na ako nakarating. And it's about time na isama ko naman kayo sa amin. Tara, samahan niyo ako. Destination Pataan. My home province, the historic Bataan, lies at the westernmost peninsula of the Central Luzon region. It is bordered by the province of Zambales, city of Alongapo, SBMA, and Pampanga. No? To get there, of course, you can use the North Luzon Expressway and SETEX. Pwede rin gamitin yung lumang kalsada, yung MacArthur Highway, and via the Alongapo Gapang Road. No? It will take you approximately around siguro mga an hour and a half to get to uh, Bataan. No? Uh, using uh, the Dinalupihan uh, exit at SETEX or uh, via San Fernando Pampanga or you can also use uh, get through Subic no? uh, kung galing ka ng Subic you can use the back door which will bring you to Morong no? sa western uh, side ng Bataan no? which has really great uh, beaches and a lot of uh, places that you can uh, go to dito sa Morong there are a lot of interesting places that you can go to no? syempre lahat kilala na yung Anvaya Cove pero hindi lang yun may beaches and most importantly yung Bata BTPI no? yung Bataan Techno Park ano yung Bataan Techno Park? yung Bataan Techno Park actually was the former Philippine Refugee Center no processing center so nung mga gera dat sa Vietnam and Cambodia dito uh, dinala or dito pumunta yung mga na dislocate na mga Asian brothers natin so tignan natin kung anong meron dito sa sa uh, former uh, refugee processing center which is really very rich in culture so actually BTP traces its history as the site of the Philippine Refugee Processing Center or the PRPC, a temporary resettlement for the Indo-Chinese refugees from 1980 to 1994. Uh, this boat ay nagdangto talaga mismo dito sa Bataan Shore, sa isang barangay sa Morong sa Mabayo, noong May, May 12, 1981. So, napakatagal na niya. 65 ang nakasakay dito, so almost 35 yung bawat isang boat na nang dumating dito, lahat ay survivors. So, mamaya, uh, makita nyo yung uh, Indo-Chinese shrines and monument yung ginawa ng Vietnamese na Buddhist temple, yung ginawa nilang uh, Vietnamese temple, yung sa Khmer naman is yung the four-headed Bayon temple, at saka yung Angkor Wat, tapos yung Laotian, meron silang tatluang monument. Talaga naman pinupuntahan dito sa Morong, no, ito, Hu Chu, no, at saka yung Ban Mi, no. These are uh, Cambodian, Vietnamese uh, noodles and uh, sandwiches, no. Na dalawa ang kilala na original na gumagawa nito. At isa yung pinuntahan ko ngayon, yung Aling Solis, yung isa yung uh, uh, Aling Lolengs, no. Itong morong kilala din sa mga beaches niya, no. Imagine mo, isang mahabang sandbar along the Morong Coast. Nandito rin yung ano, yung uh, Pawikan Conservation uh, Center, no, dito sa Bataan, kung saan uh, inaalagaan natin yung mga endangered pawikan, no, yung sea turtles dito. Alam mo dito sa Morong, uh, yung mga sea turtles, they come in, you know, they lay their eggs here sa sandbars na to dito. And then uh, itong uh, mga taga Pawikan Center, kinukuha lang eggs, hinahatch nila, no, and then they yung hatchlings they return it in releasing into the sea. Back. Sabi nila, pakita mo na kung saan nakatira ang tao, eh, makikilala mo na kung sino siya. Kung gusto nyo siguro makilala ang Filipino people, no, pinakamaganda kung masyal po tayo dito. At as Pilipinas, di ako sa akin. You will see a lot of old houses, no? Itong, ano, old houses, restored, no? Historic, with the historical background, no? Even yung, alam mo yun, yung uh, kung saan ginawa yung scene ng Elra Luna na andito. So, this is one place that you'd love to go, no? Parang time chill. Pagpunta mo dito, you go back in time. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Sa lahat po ng mga bikers, riders, weekend warriors, mga bakasyonista. Pasyalan nyo po kami dito sa Bataan. We're just a stone throw away from Metro Manila. At sigurado pong mag -e enjoy kayo.
A visit to Bataan spawns a tale of many journeys. Alam mo guys, alam mo kahit san san ka na ng galing, no? galing ka na North Luzon, uh, sa Visayas, or sa Mindanao, iba pa rin yung sarili mong bayan. No? Iba pa rin yung pakiramdam. No? There's no place like home. Yep, walang tatalo sa feeling ng tatapusin mo yung araw mo dito sa ibabaw ng Bataan. Walang iba kundi sa Mount Samat. So guys, I hope you enjoyed our uh, feature for Destination Bataan. And uh, we look forward to seeing you here. Pasyalan niyo po ang aming probinsya. Definitely, there are a lot of adventures, activities, and places that you can visit. So tara na po. Again, this is Joey Storm Rivero and you're watching Riven to Ride. Thank you so much, Papa Joey Storm Rivero. Talaga namang very informative ang iyong segment. Sana naman next time, ako naman ang ma-invite mo dyan. So, ngayong araw na ito, pag-uusapan naman natin ang Laia Day 2 kung saan kasama pa rin natin ang kwelang-kwelang trio si Napat, Gorge, at Trotsky ng Ride Along Motorcycle Tours Philippines. Kaya mga televiewers, panoodin nyo to. This week on Motorism, our ride holiday destination is Laia in San Juan, Batangas. So, after two and a half hours ng pag-ride, uh, nandito na tayo ngayon sa Laia. At pag sa Laia, dalawa lang ang nire-recommend namin pupuntahan nyo. Isa doon ay ang Aqua Verde Resort. Marika! Stay at Aqua Verde Beach Resort, Laia's Best Beach Resorts. Magandang araw mga motorista. Nandito po tayo sa Aqua Verde. Ako po si Christine. Aqua Verde po is a nature resort here in Laia, San Juan, Batangas. We are about 3 hours away from Manila. After all, the resort owns one of the wider beachfront spaces in the area where the best seats are the cozy sun loungers or in the shaded cabanas fronting the ocean. Alam, sarap mag-relax dito. Ganyan ako dito sa ano, Aqua Verde. Sarap so, mag-relax. Sure. Tapos this quaint-sized rustic resort is a cozy home that even the most jaded of travelers will appreciate. Inside the resort, we offer um, water sports activities, so kayaking, paddle boarding. We also have water sports, uh, motorized water sports activities like jet ski, speedboat, um, flyboard, which is yun po yung pinakalitas natin for water sports. Um, later, we'll try po natin para makita po ninyo kung um, gano po siya ka exciting yung sport na yun. Enjoy good food and a host of activities on the white sands and sapphire waters of Laia Beach. We are a nature resort, so we try to preserve the natural surroundings of the resort. We have a lot of trees here, so it gives the resort a very relaxing ambiance. Very cool yung weather because of the trees. Aqua Verde Beach Resort has been awarded the Certificate of Excellence by TripAdvisor for two years in a row. So we have uh, three different uh, room categories here. Casa Montana is, a, is our standard room. It can accommodate up to two guests. Um, it has a veranda. Casa Marina is a room that's also good for two. It's the next category to, to Casa Montana. The biggest room is Casa Brisa. It can accommodate up to four guests. But if you are you know, a group of five, we can definitely you know, add an extra bed. This resort is pet-friendly and worry-free for the pet parents. The resort warmly welcomes your fur babies and they too can enjoy the experience at Aqua Verde Beach Resort. Parking po natin is inside the resort and we have 24-hour security. Parking is not really that far from the room so rest assured that your motorcycles are safe inside the resort while you, you know, unwind and relax. Cucina offers local specialties and international favorites. Let's go! Cucina! Breakfast buffet pa na rin ito. Ayos! Ito, meron silang 
rice noodles my fried rice arus kaldo Siyempre, ang, ang pagkain nakaka-high blood Tuyo Pero French fries Hot dogs Corn beef Ang choices may mga breads, uh, fruits, cereals, marami marami kayong pagpapigyan. Day tour cabanas for weekday or weekend visits are available for big groups of 20 to 200 people, making the resort a preferred destination for a quick tour to La Ia. So mga motorista, I, we hope to see here at Aqua Verde. It's going to be summer soon and I know everyone needs vitamin C. Log on to www.aquaverderesort.com.ph Our ride holiday adventure continues! See you next week! Talaga naman nakakaibig itong tatlong to. Kita niyo naman, Aqua Verde. Wow! Talagang tourist destination talaga. Saluto ako sa inyo, Ride Along Motorcycle Tour Philippines. Next time naman, isama niyo naman ako dyan. Kaya magkita-kita tayo ulit ha, para sa ating laia. Day 3 Kinain yun 30 minutes Tapos na agad Grabe naman Di ba Ale Huwag kayong magalala mga televiewers Magkita-kita tayo ulit next week Dito lang sa People's Television Network Every Saturday 2.30 in the afternoon So bagong lahat Nice na yung munang pasalamatan Ang aming mga sponsors And of course Kung hindi nyo pa nilalike ang aming mga social media pages, ilike nyo na sila. And of course, kung meron kayong mga comments and suggestions, huwag kayong mag-atubili mag-email lang sa amin sa motorcyclenewsmagazine at gmail.com At kung hindi nyo pa napapanood ang aming mga previous episodes, pumunta lang kayo sa aming website, www motorcyclenews.com And there you have it guys On behalf of Joel Hoya I'm Tyron Hawk And this is your number one mooring lifestyle show on TV Lifestyle on Wheels And mga guys Wala pong maglilipat ang channel sa inyo Magsama-sama-sama 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 Mosina <laughs> Aking tambayan <laughs> Ngayon naman, ipapakinaan namin sa inyo Pinapakinaan naman Okay, okay. 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 Game na ba? Uh. Ganto kami dito pag daw <laughs> <laughs> Inom ka! Inom ka! Pag daw <laughs> <laughs> Pamugas ang paa Ayan Yung may init Ayos mo yung buwate Hindi ko lang kaya ka Teka Please Bata niyo mo Lifestyle on Wheels is brought to you by 